Alright guys, it's been a long time since I've made one of these, so welcome back if anyone's still with me. So for this one, I want to start composing from scratch again, but I want to create something similar to the composer from the Persona series, which is uh, Shoji Meguro. And he's got a really, really nice style. He's always got this really jazzy, loungy, kind of, uh, you know, like a jazz bar kind of a thing. And I love that. And then a game where everything is really serious, yet he highlights the human nature of everything. It's just so beautiful. So I'm going to try and create something. And I'm going to start with some drums just because I want to have something holding the melody so I know where I'm going. Oh, but first and foremost, like, I want to go back up here because he's got a really, really laid back sound. So the tempo has to be in the 95, 90 area. I hit 90 just for, just for kicks. And so for drums... You know, I've got a lot of things going on here, but this is just for, like, show and, like, to have uh, an organized template. But I'm going to go to my Contact 5 because Contact has some of my favorite drums in here. So I'm going to look for something a little bit more realistic. The Abbey Road 80s is amazing. I really like it a lot. But for this one, I'm going to go... I'm going to keep going down. Keep going down. I'm going to try out the Studio Drummer here because it's, it's not too heavy on the machine. And I'm going to go with the Garage Kit Light. Something really, really straightforward, just to have the basic tempo in motion so I don't get kind of uh, lost as I'm working. And um, so a trick I like to do here is like if you go down to this groove section, you can kind of sample what they have in, in store for you. Right? And so because I like that, I'll just like keep that as a placeholder. So what you can do is like go back to the channel rack and this little arrow thing here, this little arrow thing, if you want to just like make a little shortcut for yourself, you click and hold it and then drag it into your contact player here, like your your um, sub sequencer. Oh, by the way, I'm in New York City, so mind the noise outside. There's nothing I can do about that. So we're going to call this drums. Da -da -da -da. All right, cool. And now we've got a drum pattern. <laughs> just that simple. And this is just going to be something to hold uh, everything in place and a fun thing you can do is like you can click one so you can have some variation and make it unique so now I have drum number two here and if you wanted to either uh, switch up that pattern with something it could be anything else that you see here in the groove right? that could work you would just do the same thing you did before and then take this and plop it down and then it changes automatically so look you've got a nice just to keep something a little bit in motion. So now that we have our tempo, and we've got the loungy thing coming in, the only thing I feel is left are like the minimal things. So I don't know where to really go. I think he he's very big on a couple of instruments. He's a big on EP, which is the electronic piano. He's got usually really, really nice bass lines. So we're gonna get a bass going here, I think, at somewhere down the line. Um, I don't know why I'm going crazy, but I don't want that green there. It's OCD. All right, so then let's just put an EP just for just for kicks. We could start with that. Start with something really, really simple. And we'll jump into my Zebra because Zebra has a nice, nice selection of keys. And I'm a big fan. So if I just like, God, I can go anywhere really, right? So let's just play around with some of these. It kind of sounds pretty cool. I kind of like that romantic. So let's see what's going what's gonna happen here. What I want to do is uh, I'm gonna play the drums and just hit keys over them and see if I can find something that clicks. This is the uh, the I guess the writer's block portion, and this is where I find the most difficulties in starting any project, just getting it off the ground from that initial step. So. Let's give that a shot.
too bad. Let's see. I kind of like that one actually. So there's a lot that's happening here, and so anything you do, as long as it's um, it's making sense, as as long as the chords resolve themselves, I would say, don't leave anything suspended. Don't leave anything suspended. Always make it come back home. So I think for this project, I like simplicity. Everyone knows that. Like who have been following me for a little while, I don't like to make things any more complicated than they have to be, and I like this A minor. It's like really dark, also romantic and thought thought provoking. So, so I'm gonna try and put these chords in here. Okay, so this velocity needs to go down right off the bat. It's really really heavy. So I'm gonna do it like an A C E, a basic A C E here, which is kind of fun because it's like one of the first chords you kind of pick up as you're playing the piano. So if I put them to extend for about here, how's that gonna sound? So let's put it a little bit longer, but this is still hitting a little too heavy for me. Yeah, that's nice. And if I go down to the D, this is an interesting sound because it doesn't really sit well with me. It makes me feel a little uneasy, but I think that's okay. So if I were to repeat that and just copy and paste and paste it over, let's see how we got. Like if I started it from the beginning, it should probably be sounding a little bit monotone, very dark, kind of gloomy. So I think this could be a little bit brighter, but I'm going to paste this whole thing again. But I think what I want to do is I want to make some edits to the chords mm -hmm. here, or maybe here, just so it's not too repetitive, too boring. So let's see what we have here again. I like that. Maybe this could be an E. I think this should be an E. So I'm gonna go for E, G, and B. Bonk, bonk, bonk. And I'm gonna go down to the bass and make this D and E. I think that's what I was missing. Something here it just didn't seem like it was finishing itself. So let's... So this last one. I think I kind of want that to be a F. I don't know if it's going to work or not, but it, I can't have it stay at the D. So we're going to get rid of this. So this is the final puzzle piece that we have to fill in here. Because I like this, the way it's coming up. This is FAC, which is kind of fun, really happy, not exactly as sad as it used to be, but I think that we also need a really deep F here to really bring it home. So now we've got something happening, right? So the song is moving. Now I, I picture this as one of those tracks where like everyone's having fun, or not really having fun, but they're, you know, something's happening in game where they're talking about it and maybe they're in school or outside of school and uh, you know, they're trying to get some kind of solution happening. That's my favorite. So we're gonna go into the bass lines, right? Because now we've got the the EP going. We've got the drums, and for bass, you know, bass is fun. But I think I'm gonna go back into contact, and I don't have a contact open, so I'm just gonna erase my massive one, replace it with the contact here. And uh, I love uh, shreddage bass from Impact Soundworks. Definitely among one of my favorites. It's really, really kind of organic. Oh, wait, it's not here. I'm sorry, it's down here. Oh, can I detach this? I'm gonna detach this window. 
Okay, there we go. There it is. So, it's one of my favorites because it sounds really authentic. It sounds very, very acoustic, very authentic to me. And I don't know, because I, I don't really play bass in real life, but when I hear it, it has a nice edge to it. That's what I need. So, you know, and this is like number 19 on the mixer. I should have probably thought about that for a while, but let me go back in here right away because with my bass lines, what I want to do is not have too much, too much bass, so not too much high end. So I'm just going to roll off the high a little bit and I don't want the bass to be too muddy. I'm just going to dip it down a little, just for a little change. And uh, let's dig in here because now I don't want to get confused either. So I'm going to rename this bass line. So I know where to go, not falling off anywhere. And um, so let's dig in here. Now again, I don't know what I'm gonna put for the bass, but I'm gonna keep it simple. I, I just want something to work. <laughs> That's This is basically what I want. For the first like 30 seconds of the song, I just want things to work and then I'll go back in and then play it again and then fix the minor details that are, bo that are bothering me. So I think I started off with an A, right? But that A is a little bit too happy. So if I went down here, I think that A might be better. So let's see. Okay, so we're getting somewhere. So let's start with that as a placeholder. We're gonna start off with that deep A here, I love it. So we're gonna dig that in here, and let's see. Ooh, that's a little sour, there we go. It's gonna work here. No, it's a little sour. That's what I was trying to look for, but this note here is bothering me. So now we have something moving for the bass lines. Now this is the fun part because it's moving. It's got a, it's got some kind of shape right now, but something important is missing and I can't really figure out what it is. But I think I, I think I know what it's gonna be. I want something guitar-like, but something not electric. Um, well, maybe electric, but not as screaming, not a screaming guitar, I would say. You know what? I, I know I've been doing a lot of contact here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do one more because I think that's, that's what it's going to have to be. So I'm going to get rid of this orchestral here. And we're going to go right back into contact. Only because I think the arch type, the archetype, um, here it is, arch top, sorry. So here we go. This is one of my favorites too, but I don't use it as much as I should. And I don't know why because it sounds really clean. And that cleanness is what I really need right now. Something that just um, drives this jazzy feeling home. And I'm gonna go ahead and think about this. So we are really in A minor. And what I wanna do is have some delay on that, a little reverb action happening. Let me rename that. So I'm gonna call it guitar. And since we're in the mixer 21, I think I just want a little bit of reverb. It's a little tiny bit. So let's try that and see what we've got. Maybe like a slight delay. I'm just gonna turn that all the way down. Maybe a slight one. I'm not sure how this is gonna work, but I want to pan this to the right. I want this to kind of be piercing to to separate itself from everything else that's happening. And I want to pan the drums. I mean the uh, the bass line to the left. Maybe drums slight left. And then 
let's see what we got here so far. I love this part of the, the, the composition process because now I feel a little bit more confident as things are coming alive. So I don't really know what kind of pattern I want for the guitar. I think that was a fun one that I was kind of getting at. Just uh, experimenting a little bit with what it could possibly sound like. So what we'll do is um, I want to keep it. This kind of trance-like. It sounds like almost if you're in an oasis, right? Or I don't know. I can't really explain it. But we're going to go and dig that up because it might work. I should probably get a drink of water. But you know what? Yeah, that's a good idea. I've been at it for a little while. Let me take a quick little break and then uh, jump right back in. All right, so we're going to get intimate with these notes because I really want to keep that jazzy, gin and tonic, you know, get a beer feeling in the track that he always has in his, his like, dialogue tracks, I feel. So we're going to try and pull off a shoji. I'm going to try to do it the best I can, but only he can do it like him, of course. But here we go. So I'm going to see if I can do something that actually sounds pretty good. Let's get up here. Yeah, that sounds better. That sounds a lot better. Let's see. So if I were to play it. So you can't really hear it. So we're going to put the velocity up a little bit. Not too much though. And maybe the volume turned down. Pan a little bit more to the right. I like that. It kind of reminds me of Zelda. But I'm going to extend this note all the way through here. Go to the E. So basically, we're gonna move everything up a little bit. And we're gonna extend this note the same way we did the last one. So we're gonna see what we've got going on here. And actually, I think I can. Whoops, miss this one a little bit. We're gonna copy and paste it. There's gonna be a change coming, but I'm not sure where. But I wanna hear it and feel it out. Show what to do. I think hmm. maybe would that work? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Go back. <laughs> I don't know. It could. Let's find out. So uh, this is just go up here. We're gonna move everything up one. Well, a lot. But that might have to change this pattern here as well. So let's see again. One second. Just kind of like feeling this out and. Maybe. 
curious to try it and find out. This is the experimental part, so it may not work on the first couple of tries, but uh, you know, give it a shot. But the other thing is, like, we're gonna just plop it down here. There's something important here, and I think it's the trumpets. There's also like a horn he uses here. Like, let me see if I could find. I don't really um have the best orchestral library, but I'm starting to build it up a little bit more. So I'm gonna jump into our trumpets and like our basically our horn sections and see what is it and you know what I know that I have some in uh, I don't remember was it audict I think I bought some in audict but I don't remember exactly let me see maybe let me detach this window for a second so I can give a quick look through my library I know that I had one that I recently brought and no no this is the bass lines um, da, 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 da. maybe not. Well, maybe I didn't add it. But let's see, let's see. Did I not? Oh man, I am so unorganized. Uh, that's my fault. I feel like I need to like really, really start carving out where I'm putting my plugins. So. The thing about these trumpets is I had them for a while and I got them when they're on sale and they're from Master Brass from uh, Audict and they sound amazing out of the box. The problem is I didn't have much time to use them and I never really got a chance to but uh, I'm going to try and do it something with them here. If not, it's alright but I'm going to give it a best shot because I like the way they sound and I know that Shoji usually does slide in a really nice brass in, in some of his tracks but I don't know where to put it. So let's just play it again and uh, see if it can work itself out. It doesn't sound bad, but I think I might not rush in with it, even though I had that in mind. And so what I'm going to do instead is just go over here, and we're going to let the drums repeat, because the drums are just on autopilot, and they're not going to be doing too much for me right now. They're just going to hold everything in place. And we're going to try and push the song even further, because I think this is where it's really coming down to the wire, right, in the next half here. So we're going to copy everything, except the trick here is we're gonna actually go into the EP and we're gonna make it unique and we're gonna make it unique because we're gonna delete everything we're gonna delete this whole thing and we're gonna make new chords that are focused around the same I guess the same A minor ish area but we're not gonna make it exactly the same so I'm just gonna listen to the last couple of chords here and how they left off and see how we can transition into a new melody So this would be, I think an A would be great, but a nice higher octave, that that might actually make it a little bit more, it might differentiate the, the two sections a lot more. So let's do that instead. I think it's just like, this is a hard part again, but because I, I don't really know what it's going to sound like until it gets out on paper. So let's give it a shot. So we're going to go to the ACE again. The only thing is we're going to move it up an octave. And then we're gonna go to the maybe a G and a C here. That might sound really good for some difference. Yeah, let's put a G in the C. And uh, we can we don't have to be afraid. We can extend these notes a little bit. Oh, that sounds really nice. So it's gonna be a nice angelic feeling. We can go into a G here. So we're gonna go, you know what, we'll do that. We'll do a GBD. This is kind of like one of the beginner chords. I wonder if I should do this one. So I don't really know what's gonna happen here, but we're gonna try our best. And we could probably even move down to the F, which is a, 
basically an FAC. We can do an F and an A here. That sounds like a little bit fun. And either go back to the E. It sounds a little bit darker, which is an E, G, and B. Yeah, I think this could work. But let me listen to it because I don't, I don't really know what's happening right now. But if it does work, the good news is if we can... We can take it and copy and paste it. It should work twice. So let's find out. Yeah, sounds good. Maybe something could just be a little bit different in the second half here. Maybe like a... good to me so the only thing is um, we're missing is that bass that bass has to come back but we can't keep the same bass line it's just not gonna sound as good so my thing is what would I do about it so I'm gonna make this one unique and we're gonna make something uh, a little less static but not too too funky so I'll stick with that low A because I like it I'm a big fan of it. And maybe like, uh, let's zoom in. We're gonna get a little intimate with these notes here and kind of see what's going on. So maybe like, uh, do, 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 do. what if I did something like this? Like, like maybe make it half and da 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 da. Is that, is that gonna work? Maybe not. Maybe it's something more like this. All right. Oops. And then a little bouncier. Not too crazy, but then maybe actually go up an octave here. That might be a little good, and then go back down. Let's see. Wow, that's good. So let's just increase the velocity a little bit. So the good thing about that pattern is that it could kind of work if you just push it down an octave. No matter what octave you put it on, it's going to work because it's only going between two notes. So I can go from the A to the G, and I can even do it again and just go down to the F. Oops. Good. Come on. There we go. And then I could even go to the E if it works out that way, and I think it should. So let me just make sure it doesn't doesn't sound too bad. Let's find that out here. Nice. Excellent. So I think what's missing here is um a little, a little bit of variation, but we'll get there. I mean, this is just going to be the placeholder, and you, you can kind of feel the song coming alive. And I like that um, so far we haven't even used that many instruments. You know, we got the drums going, electronic piano, and a bass line, and not even that much guitar. You know what? It's actually not a bad idea. Let's put a guitar in here, too. But we're not going to keep that same pattern as we used before. So again, we'll go here, and we'll make it unique. And I think what I want to do is... Something subtle. Uh, I, I kind of like that jazzy feeling. I want to keep that, that student life feeling. I want to keep all of that. So I am going to play it again and play around with it. Here. gonna work it's not too crazy and it, it really holds everything in place and I love stuff like that where it's like the song is not moving too much but you're feeling the motion you are kind of bobbing your head a little bit and then when I start moving my body I feel like yeah that's something is happening something is working so there's gonna be a little bit of a space before I hit that first note that first A and C here so right about here So maybe like 
So that's, wait, did I time that right? Is that right? Is that the right time? So this can actually stretch over here. And then I can hit it again, but I'm gonna shorten this one. And I'm gonna add in the, the G and the B. I think that could work. You know, I'll, for the sake of time, I'll copy and paste it. And um, let's see what's going on here. So this can go up to a C and an E now. That's the case. Let's see what we have. Maybe. Maybe C and no. Well, that can actually going to work. The B and the D here. Let's try it. Take these. That could possibly work. Let's find out. Let's play it. It's it's moving here. I think um, I'm gonna start. I'm, I'll throw in a yeah. I'll throw in a reverse crash here, just so we can build up to that little part here. Blow the volume on it. Doesn't have to be that loud. Um, so the song is really getting to a point where I would say it's it's finished, but there's something missing, and I really think I'm not 100% sure what it is. I wonder if it's um a big lead or something small. So let's just put in lead, I guess. Right? And uh, I think it just needs to have something, something happening here. And I don't know what it's going to be, but I want something round sounding. So I go to my zebra. Go to zebra here. Go to the tetralogy, maybe. Uh oh, is it loading? There it is. Uh, maybe keys? A mm, couple of keys here. Something round, nothing too sharp. Uh uh. -uh. That's what I think I need. Yeah, yeah, this is nice and round and it isn't really, it doesn't distract too much and I don't want anything piercing. So let's just see what's going on here. I don't know what I want to play. So I'll play this section again and play alongside it like I usually do and try and get an idea going. I think that uh, it's getting finished because it's approaching, you can see that 1 minute and 20 second, 1 minute 25 second mark. So honestly, the lead is uh, the least of your concern. You can really put in what you feel is right. I, I don't really know what's happening here. I just kind of feel it out and I think anything can mainly work if I stick in that A minor range, which is fun because A minor is not too difficult, but I, I don't really know what what's missing i still feel like that big gap is missing somewhere but you know what i'll do um, i'll get some more water and then i'm gonna start filling in the lead here well let me take a little sip of that all right so let's see what a lead can do here and i just want something just to keep this moving and for the sake of time don't want to make anyone bored or anything a lead can be really anything here 
so let's play it along again and see. Whoa, not that far back. Right about here would be nice. pretty decent so I'll let that go wait hold on let me zoom in here this could be a little tricky to mimic what if I just actually plop it down again could this still work <laughs> The song is really wrapping up. It could deal for maybe one more section here, but it also could be set to drive right back into the loop here. And I feel like there's something still missing, and I'm not 100% what it is, but I, I have an idea. So if I go up here, you can probably try an organ. I haven't been really using any, but I don't really want the organ to do too much. I just want it to be more of a, a filler for um, to add more movement, I should say, to this first section here. I feel like there's not too much happening. And to be, to make things easy, I can go to the EP pattern, copy it, and then go back to the organ pattern, and then I can paste it. But what I want to do is look for a decent organ, I guess. That's number one. Um, I guess I'll go back to Zebra. Zebra has quite a bit. Actually, you know what? I haven't used Omnisphere, and Omnisphere has a lot of organs. Um, I don't know which are really going to be good. You know, some of them are going to be a little bit more drier than others. Mm -mm. You know what, let's try something like that. And uh, we'll keep it nice and simple. So, we'll zoom in here. And we'll go into Omnisphere, just to make sure that the piano loads up. Okay, good. So we'll paste it. 
and now the exact same pattern comes up here. Now I'm just gonna turn the volume down. Omnisphere tends to run a little loud, and I don't want it to like blow anyone's eardrums off. And I'll like pan it. Mm, yeah, I think I'll pan it to the right while I have the piano EP panned a little to the left. This is good, and I will see what that sounds like. <laughs> A little bit darker. If I want to put it up an octave, that might be a little bit of a stretch, but I want to give it a shot. Just to see. Can't hurt and try. You know what? I think that's actually kind of nice. It sounds a little bit too heavy though. So what I'll do is I'll just push this up so everything is nice and touching. So let's get this here. I think the bass on the organ is a little too hard. So I don't want that to be too loud. Let's try it again. So these last two notes were a little bit too hard. Let's see if I can get them to come down some. Still a little bit too much, so maybe just take out this. Yeah, so you know what? I'm just for just really a loud instrument in general. So that's not bad, but we're gonna just tone it down some. So honestly, I like it a lot though. And I think I want that organ to play again here. But I'm gonna make it unique and then I'm gonna take this pattern and put it here. So like it's really just doubling up a little. And it's creating the same the same melody, the same feeling. But what that extra instrument is doing is adding more adding more of a weight and it's just giving it more of this life, more color. I would just equate this to like, you know, when an artist is done with the sketching and the lining, they start to color it. This is just the coloring part. <laughs> That could be the end of the song. I'm probably gonna go back in here and start touching it up a little bit. Nothing too crazy, maybe like uh, get some of the drums going here, maybe get more of the, some more filler melodies coming in to make it more dynamic. Maybe even get some more guitar patterns in here. But basically this is ba the, the, the main gist of what's happening with the with Shoujo Magiro's kind of style here. It's really laid back, it's like a classy jazz, and um, let me play everything from the beginning to end just to make sure I'm happy with it.
I think I'm happy with this. I'm definitely going to want to touch this up because I think it's got a lot of potential to be something pretty decent once everything gets in order. And that's going to be the boring part that I'll uh, admit for the sake of time and uh, just keeping things to a nice non-boring section. I don't know if anyone wants to see that part. But you know what? Maybe, who knows? Maybe I will edit this part out and I'll just like start doing it. If anyone's interested, stick around. I'll do more. All right. So for the people that decided to stay and uh, watch me struggle <laughs> with my uh, undiagnosed OCD trying to get this track ready for human ears, uh, hey, how you doing? And uh, let's see what's going on. And what I want to do, what I've been slowly dying from is just the the drums. Like not that they're bad, but there's been nothing really happening with them. And I'm thinking, just even switching up one or two patterns could give it a really, really big push here. So I want to see if I can try and tweak them a bit. So what if I were to just make this one unique and dig in here? Let's see, because it doesn't look bad. There's nothing too crazy happening. What if I were to like, this is the if I were to come in here and maybe just go to 1 16th, I want to really try to examine what's happening here. Oh, I love this because everything is not completely quantized. And I like that when that happens. It, it creates a more real, realistic um, beat. So if I were to kind of like, hmm, maybe lower the sound a little bit. Maybe something like that. Not too high, and maybe like even one more. Could be a push. A little lower. So maybe about here. This is the snare. So. Let me just bring this one up a little bit. What's happening here? Even like maybe an extra kick. Okay, so now comes the crafting part. I can take that pattern and plop it across, and I think that can sound really good here. So let's see this section. To the original drum pattern and like I said if you go into studio drummer you can sample uh, different drum kits so we've got so many like this is, this is a whole list so you really can just get kind of creative with it like that has like a really nice groove to it so why not right so I feel like if anything try it out and if it doesn't work you can always revert back so let's try it here drop it in and we'll see how that one picks up so what I can do is make this unique so I can keep it there and then maybe even decide to switch it up with one other groove. Let's try this one. Too much happening. And I think 
think that can that can be fun to find actually. So we drop it on, and now the drums are gonna be that pattern. So let's see how that sounds like. <laughs> That was a, a fairly lazy way of programming in the drums, but you know what? It still works. But I think what I've been actually thinking about was maybe the track could use a, like maybe like another, like maybe one more passage, right? Like maybe one more final storytelling element before the loop. But I'm fearing that it could probably push it a little too, maybe too long. But if anything, I would actually revert back to the first drum pattern and I wouldn't do anything stupidly crazy maybe something like keep the maybe put this here and here because it sounds a little dry without it but I'll probably just take the same bass that was put in, in the first part of the song and I guess that's a good way to segue back into the loop but let's find out here maybe even drop in the reverse crash <laughs> but not making any any big moves not any power powerful chords or anything like that but maybe just taking uh, the basic let's actually revert back to the cell and then because I just want something to lead in back to the beginning as seamless as possible but something that kind of wraps everything together <laughs> going to be playing in this area here because so when it gets down here it gets muddled in with the, rest of the other sounds so I don't want to keep that distinguished and I want to keep it nice and playful so this they're all sounding playful but it's also really condensed and a little bit claustrophobic but I think it could work but first and foremost this has to come down the velocity is too heavy it's striking way too hard. Let's try that. So let's see, after that is the question. That's a really funky chord.
big fan of that loop. Now I'm thinking about it. I I like the guitars a lot. I don't know if it's if it's convincing me as much as it should. I'm not I'm not sure if I should like up the reverb maybe or just increase some delay, give it more of a stereo effect. I'm not really sure, but it just I feel it, but I don't. Really feel it. Line. How's that looking for me? Honestly, I don't think there's going to be too much changing after this, but let's say you have a track that you're finished with and you're happy with it. Now, here's a quick little trick, and it's not that secret either, but a lot of people feel like they have to pr like be an expert um, at playing the piano or an expert at music theory in order to work this program. And here's a quick little trick. So let's say if you, you have it, you're happy with it, but you want to see how it could sound in different keys. So what I would like to do is like mute everything except for the drums and your main chord progression, which is going to be my electronic piano. So what I can do here is I can go into this and we know it sounds like this. Now if you highlight everything, I was wondering, because I'm not very good in the key of um, A flat or anything like that, so or B flat. So let's say if I wanted to go up two octaves, I mean two, to the key of B and listen to say, hey, well, how would the song sound in the key of B? You do that. And it might make a completely different feel. And I kind of like it, too. Honestly, that sounds really, really fantastic to me. So what you can do is, well, let's say if I wanted to do that 
maybe even switch up to something different. And I went run one note down to the flat here. And let's see what that sounds like. So this is like a fun way where you can just experiment a little bit and see what you like. The only downside is that you have to worry about is like making sure you switch every single passage um, to that note that you're looking on. So like I'm gonna try and do just that. So this one is the main one and I switched it already to the da 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 to B. So that means that the next pattern, which is the EP number two, I've gotta go in here and then move it up two notes to the B and so everything is going to be moved up to the B and the third one it's not too time intensive but it can get kind of confusing so move it up to like in the cases like this it may not work so let's find out So it's just really about experimenting. You don't have to be in a rush to produce something. I think you should just like have fun with it and then see what you go go with. But here in the bass line, remember the basses have to be moved up too. Otherwise it won't be in the same key. So just move it two up. You can get like a better idea of what it actually sounds like as a whole. And if anything, you don't have to save it. You can just go back and revert to where you left off on. So let's see what we've got. And uh, let's put the guitars on and then move the guitars up to, to B as well and then we can get a really good idea of what's really happening with this track. Kind of like this key a lot better so i might actually keep it here it's all about it's all about this personal preference so honestly there are a couple of sour notes that i'm going to go back and tweak but the song is basically finished so yeah i'll have this uploaded on soundcloud hopefully later tonight or sometime this week but sorry for that running so long hopefully this helped people who are interested in composition or who are interested in writing music for rpgs that sound similar to persona and that's it you know as usual happy composing if you have any questions always hit me up I'm here, and cheers.